this is Liam 2.0 and welcome back to Tall Trees where today I am very very excited to get uh, going immediately because we have just started a quest called Inheritance but before we do that I would like to take a quick look around the rest of the town so we left off at house number seven yesterday and I noticed that the drunken sailor is number five that means we're missing house number six, and I don't know how to find it. We're also missing house number four, I think. So, I need to, I want to find those before we leave. Um, but I guess we can just continue walking for now. So, what's this? Number eight. So, this is the next one in line. What's in here? Um, pretty much nothing. Nothing in the furnace. Uh, anything around here? A chest? two arrows that's very helpful um I'm not seeing anything else which doesn't mean there isn't something else but I think this house is pretty much uh, empty it didn't have a name so I think we're good there so that's number 12 I think we're missing something aren't we uh is there a house down here oh here's number six that's where we're missing this one um is there anything behind this painting no uh, is there anything in the furnace? That's a clever place to hide things. And through this door, what's in here? A bed. And there's something under that bed, isn't there? I see it. But I'm not allowed to break blocks. Um. Okay, so this is strange, isn't it? But I don't want to have to go and find out how to open that and all that because... Right now, I'm supposed to be getting on a quest. Um, anything in here? Nope, nope, nothing here. Uh, any music discs? I know uh, this can set off a comparator signal, maybe to open a door behind here. I don't see anything. And a guard is down there? Hmm, I'm guessing this is going to be another quest. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip all that for now and not worry about it. We can go back up here uh, to number 12. And skeleton bank so I guess basically I can just put my stuff that I don't want stolen or lost in here because it's an ender chest so that makes sense um <laughs> it, it looks like a modern bank inside of this like rural rural, uh, rural not um like modern town <laughs> okay so let's continue number 11 I think it said uh, just another house anything under the bed tricky guys Nothing uh, for him to trade with, nothing in the painting. I'm just doing like the basic rundown. You come to a house and you just check everything that you think could be something. He's got a nice little balcony here, nice view. So, I think I'm going to stop checking the houses for now because I am coming up on this ship. So, um, oh wait, first I might as well go in here because it's on my way. Uh, nothing in here. Any, ooh, food. Uh, let me smelt that while I'm away in this ship. Okay, so I know I have some more food coming if I need that. Now, let's go board this next ship. So, I'm not worried about anything else over here for now until I come back from my inheritance quest. Uh, wait, I should probably go from top to bottom. So, this is like the captain's quarters. Uh, yep. It says there's an angry sailor down there. <laughs> so, this is the captain. And, uh, what does he have? He has some coal. And he has a poison arrow how do I shoot that like how do I shoot that instead of like a normal arrow I don't know so the captain can trade a bunch of books but I don't need books right oh there's a talk sign yep and he says captain hey mate uh, wanna make some money if you'll give me the books from the town storage uh, town storage a I will Reward you handsomely. Oh, wait, so... Oh, wait, two seconds. Oh, it needs 12 books. For, and he'll give me two emeralds. So how do I do that? Um, it's a town storage A. I don't know what that is. Uh, maybe I'll find that later on. Okay, so I've gotten um, more food. I need to go collect that food in a second that I just smelted. But for now, let's continue down. There wasn't anything else up here. So... 
around here. Oh, so this is like the crew quarters. One of them has an apple. That's very useful. It's always good to search the chests in adventure maps. Because they tend to hide things in um, some cool places. Ooh, rumor. I, hey, I heard that the Bank of Skeleton Bay is the safest place to keep all your money. Okay. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> um, that's just is telling me about the bank. That I can put my money there. Um, anything else? Uh, we can click talk. And it says... Oh, this is the Angry Sailor. Angry Sailor. I hate those skeleton skulls. Collect all 20 of them in Skeleton Bay, and I shall give you my pickaxe. Ooh. Will I need that before I leave? I wonder. Hmm. So, should I go on the quest, or should I get the skeleton skulls in case I need the pickaxe? I don't know. I think I should leave on my quest now, because, like... I mean, I've done enough here for now. I think I'll be coming back here after the quest because it said I have four quests to complete and I could complete five if I want to. So let's go ahead on my quest. Actually, there were some beds in this ship. I don't know why I said actually like that, but I need to go down here and sleep first. I think that'll be a best, the best idea. And that way, even if I die, I'll have a good spawn point. Um, because I think my last spawn point was all the way back in the home. Because I forgot to sleep under uh, that first shop. So, let's go on our way. This episode doesn't seem to be going very quickly. It's only been six minutes. Um, in the last episode, I had like, just started, looked at my time, and then it was like seven minutes already. So we need to find the tallest tree. So hopefully that'll be obvious. Like, I'm not seeing any in particular. Hmm. Um, I'm looking around. That one looks really tall. I need, like, a farther back perspective. Oh, there's a pathway here. Could that be going to, like, a, the tallest tree? Should I go down this pathway? Oh, the path splits. I don't know which way to follow, then. Um, let's just follow one of these. Oops pathways real quick and see if that takes me anywhere. Oh, I forgot to pick up my food. Oh, that's going to be bad, isn't it? Um, oh, should I go back and get food? Oh, no, here's some pigs. I'm super sorry, pigs, but I'm out of food. Actually, I think I have one apple in my inventory. Okay, I can't, I can't hurt the pigs. We'll just continue on with no food. Oh, I really don't want to do that. I have to go get that food, guys. I'm sorry. Uh, I, oops. Did not mean to do that. I, I have to get that food. It's cooked pork chops, and without it, I'll probably starve to death. Okay, so the tallest of them all. So, we have a riddle here. Um, wherever it is. Uh, old man's riddle. And it said, go find the tallest of them all. So, I'm assuming that means trees, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go find, find the tallest tree, which makes sense because the map is called Tall Trees. Um, I know that is the name of the city in the map too, though. Which one's the tallest? I'm thinking that one, possibly. So, if we go down here and just all the way over to this side of the island. Uh, it doesn't seem to be a very big island, which is good. It means I can explore it quicker. So, is it possible for me to climb this tree? Like, is there anything at the top? Because I'm not allowed to break blocks, so there has to be a pathway if I'm going to be able to get up there. So, let's see. I'm on the trees. I can climb up a little bit more. I'll be back when I find the tree. Hopefully, nothing interesting will happen while you're gone. So, I'll probably run out of food again. I don't know what I'll do about that. Probably have to kill some more pigs. But I will be back in just one second. Okay guys, so I'm back and what just happened is I, um, when I ended the video, I didn't mean to like end the video, it just cut off without me noticing. So I recorded a bit more, but then I figured out that I can't find the tallest tree. Definitely could not find the tallest tree. So instead of just using a clip of me searching through the jungle, I decided to do something else. So of course in the beginning of the video, um, it was a lot shorter for you guys, only a few minutes ago, but for me it was a bit longer because I've been searching the jungle. 
we met an angry sailor. And I don't know where or blah, blah, I don't know what happened to him. Uh, I have no idea where he is. Oh, here he is. But yeah, he wants twenty skeleton skulls for an iron pickaxe. So what I'm gonna do instead of trying to go find the inheritance quest is gather these skeleton skulls. So that's a bit less interesting. Like a lot less interesting. <laughs> so what I am gonna do is I'm just gonna cut to when I'm done gathering these skulls so we can get the iron pickaxe. And then I'm gonna do a little bit more exploring around the village. Oh how cute is this? The iron golem's trying to give a rose to a villager. <laughs> Good luck, buddy. Good luck. Anyways, let's continue on trying to find these skulls. So these skulls were like everywhere, weren't they? That's going to be so annoying. So I will see you guys when I have collected 20. Okay, guys, so I'm back and I have some very important news. So um, first of all, I kept forgetting to install the, um, the resource pack. But now I do and everything looks much better. And as you can see, I was right about the mushroom stew. It does look like a keg of beer. Um, so no thank you, I don't need any mushroom stew. And I have found 12 of the skeleton skulls and I just saw one through the window. So I've been working from forward, uh, from the first house that I entered to um, the end of the city. And while I was searching, I broke into the old post office. I know, I'm so, so bad. But I did find a chest in here with three poison arrows if I could actually get out of these cobwebs. Um, come on. So close! And there we go. There are three poison arrows in here. So I will grab all of those just in case I need them. And yeah, I'm stuck again. Uh, but yeah, those are the main two pieces of news. I've now installed the resource pack so everyone looks much much better and yeah I found 12 of the skulls or 13 actually because of course I just saw that one with you guys so I guess I will finish up and be with you in just a second okay guys so I've just discovered something in my search for skeleton skulls so if you remember that captain of the one ship I forget what it was maybe the second one uh, he said there were books in storage a that he wanted so, one, two, it looks like there's 12 books in here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna collect all of those and take that back to the captain. Um, I don't know where he is anymore. I think he probably escaped his captain quarters. <laughs> That's the problem when using villagers. But uh, I have only found one more skeleton skull since the last time I saw you. I don't really know where to look. Um, I've gotten all the obvious ones at least, like all the ones by like the, begin uh, the fronts of the houses and stuff. And is there anything else in here that's useful? No. And what is up here? Oh, there's a guy in there. <laughs> Hi, guy. What house is this? I want to go see that guy. Eh, have I been in here? No, nope, that's the bank. How do I go to that guy's house? Oh, hi. I saw you from the window. Do you trade anything? No. Okay, well, lovely house you have. Um, baked potato. I needed that. I have no food. <laughs> Nice house, nice house, love the lily pad. Oh wait, I can talk. Island looks pretty overgrown with plants, doesn't it? There are actually a few things on the trails. Look near storage C. Okay, so he suggested to look near storage C. Um, I guess I can look at that later. That sounds like another quest that I don't want to embark on yet. Um, so I need to continue finding the skeleton skulls. And I guess I will be back with you guys in a second. Oh, don't want to go down there yet. That looks like a quest. <laughs> um, well, it'll be a second for you guys. For me, it's going to be a while because, yeah, I have no clue where any of these skulls are. So, see you then. Okay, so I know I'm doing terrible at um, sticking with one thing, but I cannot find any more of these skulls. But, on the bright side, um, I have discovered that when we do find all of them, there's a storage B and a storage C, and they're full of ores that we can mine with the iron pickaxe, and then we can smelt those with the coal that I have, and then we can make some better armor. Um, I would rather do that before I go on an adventure, but as I was looking, I came across this tower, and I've seen this from a distance uh, for a while, 
So I'd like to go in in and check it out. I did buy some more food from the first guy we met, Sir Doyle, I think, uh, because I was completely out. So it's a tower. Um, there's a basement. I don't want to go in the basement. Uh, I definitely don't want to go in the basement. Nothing ever good happens in basements. So I'm being very careful to look around and make sure I don't miss anything. I'm probably going to have to go in the basement, aren't I? <laughs> it's just how maps like these work. And... Nothing here. I love how this map is put together, by the way. How the, you have... Blah, how you just have choices of what to do. And... Interesting. Interesting. Good view of the city. So, apparently we can light this netherrack. Uh... Ooh, I see books. So I was going to say we could light the netherrack to, um be like a lighthouse light my fire and light my fire too <laughs> what does that mean uh so we can put the old man's riddle away for now look how many books i have right now <laughs> i guess i'll keep the quest right there so we have light my fire uh let's put that right there pride of place and there so i'll get ready for my reading hello there fella could you give me a hand lighting that fire? I was about to do it myself, but my flint and steel slipped out of my hands into the ocean. Wow. D just had to slip into the ocean, huh? <laughs> um, would you be so kind to bring me my spare one from home? I live at number 10. You can find my chest behind the painting. I have a reward for you when you come back. Do not read part 2 yet, so I don't read that yet. Okay, so this is a nice, simple, simple uh, quest. I can just run there, grab his flint and steel, and come right back. Is it is that is it really that simple? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to be that simple. I don't feel like it is. I don't think I should go in the basement yet. Um, I promise I will go in the basement. I know the basement probably is very likely to have something in there. So I will do that, but let me get his flint and steel first. So, number 10. I don't recall seeing that one. Um, and hi, angry sailor. You're the one who wants those skulls. If he's angry and he doesn't like the skulls, why does he want me to give them all to him? Uh, that's number 13, so I guess we can go back this way a little bit. Number 12, number 8, number 10, right here. So, oh, I haven't been in here, have I? Okay, so, oh, steak. I need that. Uh, did I put that in my inventory? I did. Okay, so he said behind the painting, so this painting? Does he want me to break it? Huh, I guess I was supposed to break it. Whoa! Three emeralds? That's amazing! That's so amazing! I got my first ladder! You're joking! That quest was that easy? Yay! I'm so excited! So I did actually get a ladder in this episode. That makes me feel really good because I've been doing a lot of random stuff. There is no flint and steel in this chest, only emeralds. However, there is a merchant on one of the ships who sells some. You can buy it from him and find out what the treasure is. Or just let the watchman take care of his own business. Oh, That's tough because... I could keep the emeralds and possibly buy something for myself, such as the house, or I could give him his flint and steel and see what the treasure is. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. That's tough. So what I might do is keep the emeralds for now. And if I feel like I need the emeralds for something else later, then um, then I won't purchase the flint and steel. But if I don't need the emeralds, then I will purchase the flint and steel. I think that sounds good. But like I said, I'm now going to go into the basement. My hope is that there's nothing here. And... Oh, it goes down deeper. That's lovely. Oh, it's a prison oh this is a oh there's a guy in there 
this isn't nice. There's people in here. Um, hi guys, uh, not bothering you. Um, there's a skeleton skull. I'll take that. And in the chest, please don't be a trap chest. It's not a trap chest. Good. What? What happened? How did... How did I get another ladder? I didn't even do a quest, did I? Um, was I supposed to... Was something supposed to take me here? Let's see. Hello, stranger. You've got a lot of nerve coming here. Aren't you afraid of us, the dangerous prisoners of Skeleton Bay? Looking way for... Uh, looking for a way to... To get to tall trees, there's an underground tunnel system that runs from this island to tall trees. Where? Go find it yourself. Huh. So this is really giving me a lot of options. But I found out something valuable. That I can find the skeleton skulls in these little um, side things, the little side quests too. Because I was wondering, because there was no more in the city, I believe. Um... Of course, I'll do some more searching, but I've got two ladders, so I need to complete, what, two more quests, I believe? So, this video has been pretty long, and I, oh, so that's what that is, and I know, I, I really don't want to stretch it out, but I'm, I'm very curious as to what they were talking about. I don't know whether to do something else, I don't know if I should... Should I use the emeralds? Should I use the emeralds and get his flint and steel? I don't know if it's worth it. Um, what I want to do before the episode ends, I've just decided this right now, is I want to find the captain, and I want to give him his 12 books. And then I think he's going to give me some emeralds, I believe. So then I will have enough emeralds to buy the flint and steel, and, uh... Nope, wrong guy. And still have emeralds left over. Because if I do buy the flint steel right now, in my current state, I will only have one emerald left over. So, angry sailors up here. Is the captain around here? Hello? Captain, have you run off your ship? Is there some miracle and the captain's still in the ship, maybe? Uh, let me go check that. And... Oh, he is in here. This is the captain, right? Okay, two emeralds. Two emeralds, that's amazing. Okay, I'm definitely gonna go buy that flint steel now. 100% <laughs> gonna go buy that flint steel now. Um, so in the next episode, now that I have so many emeralds, I would also like to buy that house. But for now, uh, looks like you guys are gonna have to wait for that because I am going to end the episode because it has been pretty long. Um, I, I don't know if you guys like long episodes of this or not. Um, maybe you get bored after a while of these adventure maps. Uh, possibly not. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video! If you would like to see more, please do leave a like because I am enjoying this series so much. I know lots of you are too and lots of you have been asking for it. So, thank you so much for watching. Bye!